Australia's biggest construction companies is tonight on the verge of collapse. St Hillier's has gone into voluntary administration, putting jobs and housing projects in doubt. St Hillier's Constructions, its motto, confidence, trust and vision, is on the brink. Up until today, it was one of the most successful building companies in the country, with a turnover of $500 million. In New South Wales, it's one of the biggest players. So there's jobs closed all around Australia. The security guards out on sites. Subcontractors have been told to come in and take their equipment away, and then they don't know when these jobs are going to resume. St Hillier's was building a swag of public housing projects across the state. Also, the Chalora markets in Greenacre. If it collapses, it's going to have a devastating effect upon the economy in New South Wales. The company is headed by Sydney-based Tim Casey, the son-in-law of racing legend Bart Cummings. He sold his mansion in Bellevue Hill for around $13 million last December. I met with uh, Tim Casey this morning, who's the owner of St Hillier's. He has told me that the company is viable and it can still continue to operate. St Hillier's came unstuck after cost overruns at the Ararat Prison Project in Victoria. Mark Burrows joins us now. Mark, what's the next step for St Hillier's? Well, Peter, it's now up to the administrators to come in and see what parts of St Hillier's constructions can be salvaged to make the company viable. Uh, at risk, 300 employees directly employed and about uh, at least a thousand uh, subcontractors. What a mess this company finds itself in. Recently, it was rated as number 91 in BRW's top 500 list of companies, and it comes on top of the financial woes of another building giant, Reed Constructions, responsible for building many of our roads. Peter. Mark, thank you.